Coming up, these students know that computer and information technology jobs are in high demand. That's why they're on the path to earning industry certifications and their associate's degree while they're still in high school. I feel really proud of myself to be taking these classes because it'll mean that I'll be able to get into college earlier. Find out what you need to know about this innovative early college program next on Around Prince George's. Welcome to this edition of Around Prince George's. I'm Charlene Dukes, president of Prince George's Community College. Did you know that the National Security Agency and the Department of Homeland Security designated Prince George's Community College a national center of academic excellence and in information assurance? We are leaders in IT education. Not only do we offer a variety of information security and computer science programs, we also have a new information technology early college known as iTech. During the next half hour, you'll learn all about iTech, how it works, and our partnership with the Prince George's County Public Schools. Plus, you'll see why students and parents are excited about this new opportunity. Take a look. Remember, what you're doing is summarizing the strategy, writing your summary of the strategy, and then you're going to talk about it to your classmates, okay? When you read a question on a test, and then you have, for instance, four answer choice rate, mm -hmm. so like at least two would not relate to the question, so you cross those out, mm -hmm. and then so you have two left to determine which one is the best mm -hmm. that answers that question. I found out about this opportunity through my high school. It just seemed like a very good idea to get an associate's degree at, at the end of my senior year. Your teachers aren't going to spoon feed you like they did in middle school. You're going to have to be on top of all your work. A lot of your classes will be like condensed, meaning you'll be taking them at like a faster pace. Teachers don't accept late work. <laughs> <laughs> they have no tolerance of, zero tolerance of turning in late work. If you want to graduate, you need to remember your coursework because every class is going to build onto another class. So if you're going to pass a 201 level class, you have to first have the knowledge from the 101 level classes. I feel really proud of myself to be taking these classes because it'll mean that I'll be able to get into college earlier and have my associate's degree earlier and so it'll have me really ahead of everyone else. I love the people here. They're very nice and the teachers are very organized and I feel like I'm part of the community. What it means to be a student at Prince George's Community College is you are learning and studying with the best students out there and it is a privilege and an eye-opening experience being here. Dr. Dukes for that introduction to the Information Technology Early College. I'm Dr. Rhonda Spells Fentry. Joining me to discuss the Early College model approach to higher education in the iTech partnership is Dr. Mara Doss, Senior Academic Administrator at Prince George's Community College, and Loretta White, Executive Charter School Liaison for Prince George's County Public Schools. Welcome to the program. Dual enrollment programs like iTech are a growing trend in higher education. But before we get into the specifics, let's define some terms for our viewers. Dr. Doss, what do we mean by dual enrollment? Uh, first, Dr. Spells, we are delighted to be here. And um, according to our dual enrollment memorandum with the Prince George's County Public School System, we define dual enrollment as a public, as a student who is enrolled in a public school and a public college at the same time simultaneously and the credits from the public college can apply to the high school transcript. Oh great and what about the concept of early college what is that? Oh okay early college and and first let me just say that early college is nothing new early middle college is nothing new the first early middle college began 
1974 at LaGuardia Community College. And what it is typically is described as a, it's usually small, having no more than 100 students at grade level. Um, it usually provides or does provide a rigorous curriculum. And that curriculum has a pathway using dual enrollment credits to either get the student a certain amount of college credits or all the way to an associate's degree. In addition, and what's very important to note is that an early middle college serves both underserved and students who are underrepresented in higher education. Wow, that sounds like a really innovative approach to higher education and helping our students get gain credential. Oh, certainly is. Um, so what are the benefits in terms of affordability and college completion? Mm -hmm. and, and what's so, so um, I guess, so wonderful about an early middle college is that there is no cost to the parent when the student is enrolled in an early middle college. It's always an agreement, or it's an agreement, between the high school, the school district, okay. and the community college that pays for the college courses and also other materials as well. Wow, so now let's talk specifically about the iTech program. Ms. White, can you give us an overview of iTech? Thank you so much for having me here today to discuss the iTech program and the partnership with uh, CMIT Public Charter School. The iTech program is one that is designed to prepare our youngsters for the challenging careers in the field of technology. This particular program, in partnership with Prince George's County Public School, has prescribed a sequence of courses that our high school students will be engaged and having practical learning experiences that, as Dr. Doss has previously mentioned, that will lead them either to earning college credits as a dual enrollment student or working towards the completion of those pre prescribed sequence courses to earn an associate degree in one of the many iTech field uh, programs that are out there waiting for them to fill. This program is so beneficial because what it does is it's going to prepare our youngsters to be competitive and, and, and develop the capacity to be able to go out there and to adequately compete for those jobs that are waiting for, for them. The Bureau of Labor Statistics has already described that there will be 22% growth of, of employment opportunities in the field of iTech. And it, that field is so broad and it, it just in, it is entwined in every aspect of our lives. Uh, it, it, and there's no way to kind of get around it. So this program at CMIT and the partnership with Prince George's County students is giving our youngsters a head start on not only experiencing the post-secondary learning uh, culture, but also giving them a head start on setting a course and a pathway to finding a job in that field. Great, so you've referenced CMIT several times. So what is CMIT and how is it related to iTech? Okay, CMIT is a public charter school that is in its fifth year of operation. What's unique about this particular partnership mm -hmm. is that um, the founding principal had, a, had the foresight and a vision to start this collaboration with the community college based on some, some prior experience with their sister school. So in reaching out to Prince George's Community College, that conversation started then in, uh, in allowing the youngsters to take college credits as early as ninth grade. That is what's different at CMIT or uh, CMIT. Uh, the youngsters as rising ninth graders uh, will take the AccuPlacer, which will assess their reading, writing, and math skills to determine their eligibility and readiness to engage in a rigorous college course. Now remember, these are still high school students having to meet the high school graduate, the traditional high school graduation requirements, as well as engage in meeting the requirements of earning that certificate or that associate degree alongside simultaneously, and which is a wonderful experience for our youngsters. Wow, it sounds like a really challenging program, and later we'll talk to students about their experience. Um, Dr. Doss, can you talk to us about the partnership between Prince George's Community College and the Prince George's County Public School mm -hmm. and how it developed? Mm -hmm, sure. Um, you've heard the term, it takes a village, and that's exactly what is going on here um, with this partnership, and it's just not a partnership with CMIT, there are several partners. Um, we partner with, of course, Prince George's County Public Schools. We have the University, um, um, College University, Maryland, 
Uh, we also have Bowie State University. Uh, we have a GMO Technologies, Lockheed Martin, um, and we also have Prince George's County Public Government, uh, excuse me, Prince George's County Government as well. And um, what these partners do, because we have a very active advisory committee, they provide us with the guidance, but that they give us that industry guidance. They help us develop um, our curriculum. They help us develop our policies and our guidelines. And because they have the capacity to do so, they can bring in professionals that help us with not only the students, but also with our faculty and our teachers. And then they, they provide us with some um, what I call exploratory days or exploratory visits, which are field trips for our students. <laughs> Wow, that's great. And I know this prog our program in our county has really become a model program. And even some states are coming in to look and see how we've been able to do what we're doing so that they can model it. So now let's talk a little about outcomes in terms of graduation rates and college mm -hmm. programs in general. So what are mm -hmm. the success measures for the program? OK, this is where I really get excited. Because um, if I use the data from the National Middle College Consortium, which, um, which assists um, middle colleges, early middle colleges throughout the United States. In their data, it states that 87% of students who attend early middle college graduate from high school. That's the high school graduation rate. And there is a 92% attendance rate for these students, which is, which is great, okay, which is wonderful. But this is, where, this is where I get the brag, and this is where I get excited. <laughs> At Prince George's Community College, we have the Academy of Health Sciences, which is our first middle college high school. With that community college, as you know, we had a 96% graduation rate where students completed their associate degree and their high school diploma at the same time. Wow, that's really exciting. And, and our county and our students are really benefiting from this program. Thank you, Dr. Doss and Ms. White, for such an informative discussion about the early college model in the iTech program. We're going to take a short break. When we return, we'll talk about how to apply to iTech qualifications for admission in its rigorous academic curriculum. Stay with us. Prince George's Community College isn't just a place that offers more than 200 academic workforce development and continuing education programs. It's the first step toward the career of your dreams. It's a community of people who want you to succeed. It's where degrees are earned and potential is realized. Apply and register today. Call 301-546-PGCC. That's 301-546-7422. Prince George's Community College, transforming lives. Talking to your kids about finishing school isn't easy, just necessary. Go to boostup.org for materials that can help. Thanks for calling the GED Pep Talk Center. Jerry Stiller speaking. Your level seven in your face pep talk. I can keep pushing. Believe me, I'm good at it. But at some point, you're gonna need to start pushing yourself. See, once you've got your GED diploma, You'll feel so good about yourself. You tell them. You can't change your past, but you can definitely change your future. That makes me so happy, I'm ready to bust out a dance. Mr. Trejo, can I transfer this guy to you? My gentle technique isn't really working. You need something a little more... Persuasive? Yes! You listen, and you listen good. Hey, where's my sandwich? Terry? Terry! Take it from me to King DMC. It's a real cool thing to get your GED. Get that diploma! Now hold on and we'll find you free GED classes. Capiche? Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. Welcome back to Around Prince George's. If you are just joining us, we're talking about iTech the Information Technology Early College Program at Prince George's Community College. Here with me to provide more details about iTech are Dr. Christine Barrow, Dean of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics at Prince George's Community College, and Tammy Calandria, the iTech Program Liaison. Welcome to the program. 
We know that this early college program is still relatively new, but Ms. Calandria, what is the student enrollment by grade level? Sure. Um, let me first start by explaining CMIT's high school. Um, it's relatively new and we're adding one grade each year until we reach our first graduating class, which will be next year. So currently we have a ninth grade, 10th grade, and 11th grade. We have 14 students enrolled in the iTech program in the ninth grade, 27 in the 10th grade, and 10 in the 11th grade. And that's relative to the size of each of those classes. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. And so that, obviously, that's a small student-teacher ratio. So what, what is the student-teacher ratio? The student-teacher ratio um, for the course, we have one college instructor in the class with each grade level of students. For the students in the ninth and the 10th grade, there also is a teacher of record present to provide assistance in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. And what are the demographic composition of the students? The students are largely minority, most mm -hmm. of them um, African American, upwards of 90 percent. Um, we have about 50 percent male-female ratio, and um, 20 percent of those are probably free and reduced lunch. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Are there plans to grow the program? Yes, every year we're going to add a new cohort of students. So um, we will graduate our first cohort next year, and then we will bring in a new group of ninth graders. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Dr. Barrow, can you tell us how many iTech students are actually enrolled in courses here at the college? So each and every one of the students is actually enrolled in a college course. Each year that they're in the program, they're enrolled in college courses. So the first year they're in the program, they're enrolled in one college course each semester. Um, so that means for the ninth grade cohort, the ones that we were just talking about, Every single one of those students is in a ninth grade um, co cohort course as well as in the college course at the same time. So for each time that the, each grade level, that's the number of students that we have enrolled in the program. Mm -hmm. and, and where are these classes held? So the classes are taught for the first two years. So when students are ninth graders and tenth graders, it's actually taught on the campus of the Chesapeake Math and Information Technology um, Academy. And that program is in Laurel, Maryland. Um, in their 11th grade, they transition because they're taking college courses on a college set, in a college setting, and that's at the Laurel College Center here um, in Laurel, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, fantastic. Ms. Calandria, how do students apply for the iTech program? We notify students of the possibility of, a, of participating in the iTech program at the end of their 8th grade year. Um, and at that time, we begin preparing them to take the AccuPlacer because they have to score high enough on the reading comprehension portion of that. Um, students also sit for an interview with staff that are familiar with the iTech program. Um, they are largely assessed for their interest in IT because we recognize that the higher, the higher up they go and the more difficult the courses become, that's a crucial part of their success. Um, and we also speak to their former teachers to get some reference um, for how likely they are to succeed in the program. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And what are the qualifications for admissions? We really don't limit students from applying to the program. Um, clearly, they have to score high enough on the AccuPlacer and demonstrate significant interest, and then we cap each entering um, cohort at 24 students. Okay, mm -hmm. so no G high school GPA or requisite high school GPA? There is no requisite high school GPA other okay. than the um, teacher reference, particularly as it pertains to their IT. Oh, coursework. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Dr. Barrow, can you explain the iTech program curriculum? Sure. <clears throat> Over the course of the uh, four years that the students are in the program, those students are taking 19 college courses. Um, so that's a pretty impressive number in and of itself. Um, and that adds up to 60 credit hours. Uh, so they're taking a combination of general education courses. Um, that means your math, your English, your sociology, uh, social science type courses, um, as well as those discipline specific courses in information technology. Wow. And so when you say that they're taking college course, 19 college courses, how do they get their high school credits in college credits, how does that work, meaning they're not spending any more time in high school than other students? Absolutely. So one of the things um, that Dr. Doss mentioned earlier is that these students are getting the college credit um, and the high school credit for the same course. So a student who's taking our college English course, for example, in their 12th grade year, those students are then um, also getting credit for their English 12 requirement of high school. So they're getting both the college and the high school credit at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, great. And so there's an <laughs> iTech Summer Bridge program that, is correct. that students are required to participate in. Can you tell us a little about that? Sure. We have um, a, a, a Summer Bridge for each year that the students are in the program. Um, so there's one for rising ninth graders that focuses primarily on getting them ready for the rigors of college. Uh, we want to make sure that they're um, getting the Planning for Academic Success course content. Um, and we're also remediating or enriching their skills in English and mathematics as well. Um, and again, and reminding them of what it takes to be successful in a college course. In their 10th grade year, what we're trying to do is make sure that they're familiar with the information technology area of study as well as the industry itself. Um, and by the time they're in their third year, we're really getting them ready for um, what it takes to go beyond Prince George's Community College and start thinking about transfer um, to the four-year institution or entering the workforce. Mm -hmm. So in terms of industry certification, how does the iTech program prepare students for either going directly into the IT workforce or transferring to a, a four-year institution? So the uh, certifications uh, that the students are prepared for um, specifically are A plus and Security plus because those are built into the curriculum that they're following. So the courses that they're taking prepare them for those certification exams. Um, and then both those certification exams not only help them for uh, being prepared for the industry, but it also helps them be prepared for transfer. The rest of the coursework that they take here also prepares them for transfer. Again, those general education courses and the other information technology courses, all of them are part of that. And we have um, the partnerships built in to help us uh, make sure that students are prepared, um, Bowie State, UMUC, and the like. Thank you, Dr. Barrow and Ms. Calandria, for joining us on the program today. If you want more information about the Chesapeake Math and Information Technology Academy, the Information Technology Early College Program, or other dual enrollment programs in Maryland, check out the websites on your screen. Coming up next, hear what parents and students have to say about the iTech program. We'll be right back. Prince George's Community College isn't just a place that offers more than 200 academic workforce development and continuing education programs. It's the first step toward the career of your dreams. It's a community of people who want you to succeed. It's where degrees are earned and potential is realized. Apply and register today. Call 301-546-PGCC, that's 301-546-7422. Prince George's Community College, transforming lives. Hey! So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Get your yes, ass You're not f***ed in here. Yes, I am. Every day, kids witness bullying. Why are you stabbing me with it? No, no. They want to help, Ow. but don't know how. Oh, you Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. Here with me to share the parent and student perspective on the Information Technology Early College Program is Kellen West and Olutayo Fawibe and Mr. Frank Hawkins. Welcome to Around Prince George's. Let's start with the parent. Mr. Hawkins, as a dad of an iTech student, how did you know that the iTech program or early college program was a good fit for your child? Well, um, my son, JJ, was always interested in um, computers, computer technology, gaming, videos. And uh, we sent him to Chesapeake Math and IT Academy based on the focus and theme of that school. And when that program became available, uh, the iTech program, it was like a blessing in disguise for, for my son and for um, myself and my wife, too. Olatayo, what did you think when your parents presented the idea of attending an early college instead of a traditional high school? Honestly, I was just like, this seems like a lot of work, and high school already looks like a lot of work, so how about we don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> and then, but now you're there and you like it? Yeah, now I feel like it was definitely worth trying it and going through with it. Kellen. As a high school student, what is it like taking classes on a college campus? 
Well, before we took college classes at the high school, so now they moved us to an actual college campus. So I guess it feels more independent and I get a sense of responsibility over myself more. Great, and what's the academic workload like? It's a lot, it is, but it's not too difficult. Okay, Olatayo, how's the workload? I agree with Kellen. It's not something that like is too difficult, but you definitely have to put the time into it. Okay, and what advice would you give other students who may be interested in the iTech program? Kellen? Um, I'd say don't procrastinate. Um, because you're balancing out your college work and your high school work. So I know it can seem difficult to try and prioritize what to put first, but try and just, just try and do everything. I will tell you. I also agree. I think that you have to know how to pick your battles with what you're going to complete first so that you can, like she said, prioritize. And you have to realize that you can't let one area slack more than the other in like this program. Okay, great. And in terms of what you're thinking you'll do next, what do you see as next in your future after you complete this program? Kellen? Um, I'm interested in creative writing as a major. Okay. And are you going to go into an IT field, you think? Well, since I'm not really sure of what I want to do, I felt as though since IT which was such high demand and I feel like it'd give me more opportunities. Yes, and Olatayo? Um, after this program, I would like to go into neuroscience and I think this IT was very useful in that because neuroscience does contain like a lot of stuff to do with technology and computers, so it'll come in handy. Okay, great. And Mr. Hawkins, what, what are your thoughts on how this program will help your, your son as he goes into his future endeavors? Well, um, it, it, made it, a, it made college rea reality for him uh, sooner, a lot sooner than, you know, normally just going to high school. Um, he's already talking about, you know, by the time I'm 20, I'll be graduated from college. I can then start on my master's degree. You know, there's, he talks about companies he may like to work for. Um, so really, it's, it's planted a seed in his mind about what he wants to do much sooner than uh, normally it would happen. And it's, it's just been a great uh, thing for him. I just love this program. So both of you will graduate with a high school diploma and a community college degree. Yeah. What, what colleges you're thinking about? What's next? Um, I'm thinking of Columbia University. Wonderful. Or UVA. And I think those are my two primary schools. I'm thinking. Little Italian? Um, I actually have three primary schools. Okay. Uh, my primary schools are Johns Hopkins, Georgetown, and Princeton. Great. And what is your son interested in? Um, well, interested in meaning um, com com cybersecurity. He's, he's okay. focusing on that and in, he talked about Cornell even though that was his college at school and maybe even University of Maryland but he's, he's not really decided but he's thinking about it. Okay, so. but when, when each of you get there you will be a junior and two years of college already paid for so wherever you end up I'm sure you'll do a great job and have two years of college already under your belt. Mr. Hawkins, Olatayo, and Kellen, thank you for sharing your experiences. The iTech program not only saves you time and money to earn a college degree, but it will also prepare you for careers in the high demand field of technology. As we close, here's a look at some of the students in the iTech Summer Bridge program. Thanks for watching Around Prince George.